Welcome back to the Colorado Avalanche GM mode here for episode 6. And in this episode, we are in early March, March 9th to be exact, as we'll be taking on the Anaheim Ducks, who I believe are one of the top two teams in the Western Conference. I, I know the Predators are the number one, and I think the Ducks are two or they're three. They're one of the top three teams. And right as, as of right now, the Avalanche are currently sitting at 32, 28, and 7 on the season, which is good enough to put them in 5th in the Central Division and ninth in the Western Conference. So they've dropped out of that playoff seed they were in since last episode, but they are only two games back of the Minnesota Wild, who are a division team. And we're coming down to the final stretch here. There's only, like, this rest of March, and there's going to be April... Which is like the first like week or so of the season, which is like the first week or so of April, and then it's like playoff time. So in order to do well, this team is going to have to perform, or in order to make the playoff, this team is going to have to perform extremely well. And they're going to have a pretty big deficit to climb over, and that's the fact that their starting goaltender, Semyon Varlamov, is going to be out for the rest of the season until mid-May. So even if they do make the playoffs, he won't be back till mid-postseason. And that is, he has an MCL sprain. Won't be out, will be out for the rest of the regular season, meaning that the starting goalies, who are rotating starting goalies, will be Calvin Picard and Rito Berra. Is it Picard or is it Picard? I think it's Picard, it might be Picard, I'm not sure. But he is the starter, and the backup is Rito Berra. Also, a few games ago, there was the trade deadline, and a couple days before that, the Avalanche received a trade offer from the Phoenix Coyotes, which they found very interesting. Mikel Bodker was being shipped out of Arizona, meaning that the Avalanche were going to give up Francis Buchanan, and their 2016 first round pick, which is this year's first round pick for Mikel Bodker. And at first I was thinking, hey, not really sure if I want to do that because it's a first round pick. But then I figured, I'm not really sure what the people who are going to be in the first round and what I'm picking are going to be. And I'm not sure if they're going to ever going to be any good. So why not try to get someone who's still young and has an elite potential onto the team for a first round pick and dump off the salary which is three years left on a veteran defenseman who I don't want like Francis Buchanan. So I figured hey let's do this and we picked up Mikel Bodker in a trade. Mikel Bodker is 26 years old like I said elite potential he's still pretty young still has the potential to get better. He has 20 goals 31 assists and a plus minus of 17 on a very bad Arizona Coyotes team so that's saying something. And he does only have this one year left in his contract, so at the end of the season, or in the offseason, we're going to have to re-sign up and want him back. But I have freed up a lot of cap room with the trades I've done this season, so we're going to have no problem re-signing Mikhail Bodker. And now heading into this game against the Ducks, the Avalanche's stats are Landis Skog has 68 games played, 28 goals, 34 assists, and 62 points. Bodker has 56 points in 66 games, that's 21 goals, 35 assists. Like I said, the majority of those, I believe all of them maybe even, are with the Arizona Coyotes because very, very bad team and having that many points for a very bad team is pretty solid. Matthew Shane has 68 games played, 17 goals, 32 assists, which is 49 points. Uh, Rask has 62 games played with 25 goals, 20 assists, and 45 points. He's kind of slowed at his pace since we've picked him up, considering he's not on our top line anymore, and he may be not getting as much ice time, but he is definitely still a good player, and I do not regret making that trade. And it's time for a Wednesday night rivalry between the Colorado Avalanche and the Anaheim Ducks here on NBC Sports Network. As we are in Colorado, the Rocky Mountain Winger against Anaheim Ducks, Denver, Colorado. The Colorado Avalanche are 32, 28, and 7 on the season, while the Anaheim Ducks are currently sitting at 41, 19, and 6. So a very, very, very good record for the Anaheim Ducks. Calvin Picard in net, he's 3 0 0 since being called up a 2.00 goals against with a 9 3 9 save percentage. And no shutout so far. He'll be getting the nod in net with the injured Semyon Varlamov. And facing him on the other end between the pipes is Frederick Anderson, the Denmark goalie. 
which is Danish. He's 29-16-1, 2.229. Goals against, and we'll start things off first. Nice save there by Picard. They avalanche pick up the rebound, and then later on in the first, here is Bod Kurt. Cuts that to the left-hand side, tries to get a deke going, but Anderson dekes him. Uh, Anderson poke checks him. McKinnon gets the puck here, avoids a hit, holds onto the puck, gets a shot on net, or passes down to Rask, gets a backhand shot on net, and it's saved by Anderson. And now here is, I believe, Rask, maybe? He gets a shot on net, but it's saved by Anderson. And now the Ducks have the puck in the... Avalanche of zone, saved by Picard there on the slap shot. Back out to the point, blocked in front, batted out. Slap shot, and this time it goes in. He scores! And the Anaheim Ducks take the lead. It's a deflection on the slap shot from the blue line. Chris Stort was there in front of the net to make his big body with his hand eye, deflecting that in the slap shot from Cam Fowler, who gets the main assist. So here come the Ducks. Wrist shot on the cross crease pass, but it's saved by Picard. And at the end of one, it is Ducks one, Avalanche nothing. And now we head into the second period. So, here is Mikhail Gregorenko takes a shot, saved by Anderson, but he poke checks it because he can't cover it up, and he scores! Mikhail Grigorenko, the young sniper, pokes it in, and it's a 1-1 tie hockey game here in the early in the second period. Grigorenko assisted by Landeskog and Eric Johnson. So 15 minutes now left in the second period. Some cross-crease passing. Saved by Picard initially, but it kicks up over his blocker. And that's going to float into the net as Andrew Cogliano scores and gives the Ducks a 2-1 lead. Assisted by Silverberg and Raquel. As it's now 2-1 Ducks. Later on in the second, they have the puck in the Avalanche zone. Passing around. Shot. Rebound. Attempt is also saved by Picard. Still passing around with the Ducks. Back to the slot. And he finally covers it up. Nice way to stand his ground there for Picard. But here, the Ducks win the faceoff. Passing it around. Shot blocked out in front. Centering try. A shot for Santarelli. Rebound attempt is scored by the Ducks. Horrible rebound control there by Picard. As Yuri Sakach, or as the Canadians fans used to call him, Cakes, as it's backwards. Spelled backwards, Cakes, get it? As he scores on the rebound, 3-1 Ducks is the score now. Five minutes left in the second. Here comes a man. He, sco he scores, and it's Patrick Maroon for the Ducks. Deeks past the defense. He nets that one, and it's a 4-1 Ducks lead. As they have a three-goal lead, assisted by Cogliano and Lindholm. And now 45 seconds left. Here comes Duchesne. Gets knocked off the puck. Picks it back up behind the net, though. Looks for a pass. Still looking for passes. Slap shot from the point is saved by Anderson. Another chance. Shot saved by Anderson. And we will be heading into the third, end of the second, as the Ducks have a 4-1 to lead on the Avalanche. Not looking good for their chances here. But we'll start things off in the third with a loose puck getting into the Duck zone. Collected by Soderberg. Pass to the slot. A shot and scored by Blake Comeu as he makes it a 4-2 to hockey game. It's a two-goal game. Anderson lets that one gets past him. Blake Comeu with the snipe. It's a 4-2 to game. Comeu assisted by Soderberg and Gwenin, I believe is how you pronounce it. Now with 11 minutes left in the third here, Victor Rask takes a shot, saved by Anderson. The four check as the Avalanche keep four checking. They get the puck back. Pass across the slot. Backhand shot is scored by the Avalanche. Mikhail Grigorenko with his second goal of the game, and it's a one-goal game here in the third period. And the Avalanche are right back in it. Four to three. Grigorenko assisted by Rask. So now four minutes left in the third. Puck goes right behind the net, and that's a big hit by the Avalanche. It's going to be called a boarding. So the Ducks are on a power play here, and here is Ryan Kessler. Deking out the whole defense, skating right past someone. Big save on the backhand shot by Picard, but they have another chance here. About two minutes left. Skating shot goes wide. Picked up by the Ducks again. Centering try. And it's a one-timer to, I believe that's Ryan Kessler. It is. It's Ryan Kessler who makes it a two-goal game here for the Ducks. 5-3 to three is the score with about 2.23 left in the game. Kessler assisted by Cogliano and Raquel. And now it's 5-3. 51 seconds left on the rush is Landeskog. Skating around back. Uh, passing attempt to the center is shot and scored by Duchesne. As it's a one-goal game yet again. Five Ducks, four Avalanche with 46 seconds left in the game. The Avalanche have a 
Couple chances here left in the game. Duchesne assisted by Lanniskog and Holden. So 31 seconds. Here's a rush for the Avalanche. Skate around the net. A shot goes wide. Four check from the Avalanche as the backhand shot goes wide, but they just cannot get it to go in as the Ducks come away with the win by a one goal by a one goal lead, five to four over the Avalanche as they come away with the victory. And the Avalanche will drop to 32, 29, and 7 as they will not catch up to the Wild here in this game. And they will not catch up to the Wild all season long as the Avalanche ended the season on a very, very bad win losing streak as they just could not beat anybody. They played a bunch of top teams in the last month of the season and uh, towards the end of March. And in April and March, they just could not get a win streak going as they lost seven straight games to end the season. One against Nashville, then the Blues, then the Capitals, then the Blues, then Nashville, then the Stars, and then the Ducks. All top teams in the Western Conference, so not a good month there as losing Varlamov just really cost this team and they were not able to get it going. A bunch of one-goal losses, a couple blowouts here to the uh, Predators and the Blues, but they just could not get it going. As the Avalanche even dropped down to 7th in the Central Division, they were only... Uh, six points behind the Jets, who made the playoffs in that fourth seed, but the Wild 85, Blackhawks 84, and the Avalanche were above all those teams, the Jets, Wild, Blackhawks, and Avalanche, like, all season long. But once Varlamov went down, their season pretty much went down the tube as well. So that's pretty much the end of the season, or it is the end of the season. This is going to be the last regular season episode for the Avalanche. The next episode you'll be seeing is the off season. As I've been your host, Jerseyborn, and I'm saying, goodbye. Wow.